I want to begin with the the theme of these candidate discussions tonight, and that is the fight to preserve democracy in America uh, and what Republican governance in Texas has done to try to limit democracy, to try to limit access to the vote, limit the capacity to register to vote and to cast your vote in Texas and what that means for democracy in America. That's right. You, you don't get the most extreme abortion ban in America. You don't have permitless carry, which has increased homicides and gun violence in the state of Texas and has made us the leader in school shootings. You don't get a total collapse of our electricity grid or teachers being hounded out of the classroom if you have a fully functioning democracy, because these things are not what most of us in Texas want. But when you have a tax on the right to vote, and when Texas has now become the hardest state in which to cast a ballot or to be registered to participate in an election, these are the outcomes. So the only way to overcome this is to make sure that we reach those who are the targets of suppression and intimidation, bring them into this election, and make sure that they help decide the outcome and actually form the margin of victory when we win this. Early voting is taking place now in Texas. It lasts through the 4th of November, and then, of course, Election Day on the 8th. This is when we need people to come out and make this important decision to change Texas for the better. Uh, Republicans are trying to make uh, what they call crime, just this word crime, uh, an issue uh, in the campaigns. They're trying to make it the top issue in all campaigns. The one crime that absolutely none of them ever mean when they're talking about crime, and there are many crimes that they don't mean, but the most prominent one they don't mean is the kind of crime that happened in Uvalde, where someone walked in to a school and shot and killed as many people as the assault weapon would allow him to kill as many children as possible. That doesn't count in the Republican accounting of crime. And the Republican Party has done everything they possibly can to make sure that those mass murderers are the best equipped mass murderers in the world. Uh, what can be changed about that in Texas? It's been 22 weeks since those 19 kids and their two teachers were slaughtered in that classroom in Uvalde. And in those 22 weeks, this governor has done absolutely nothing. When we win, I'm gonna bring Republicans and Democrats around the table to at a minimum raise the age of purchase for an AR-15 to 21 to ensure that we have universal background checks and red flag laws so that if someone has a firearm and is threatening to use it as the shooter in Uvalde threatened to do before he ever walked into Robb Elementary, law enforcement will be able to intervene before it is too late. Republicans, Democrats, gun owners, non-gun owners, Texans all agree on this. The only thing standing in the way is Greg Abbott. And that's why we've got to replace him on November 8th. Uh, the economy, of course, is the other uh, issue that's high in, in voters' minds. Uh, inflation being something that governors can do literally nothing about uh, in, in the effects of it, especially global inflation that we're in right now. Uh, but what are the ways in which uh, governance in Texas can improve the economy of Texas? We are paying among the highest property taxes in America. In fact, the tax burden for the average Texan is greater than the tax burden for the average Californian. Um, you have some of the highest electricity prices in the country. Greg Abbott literally is the greatest driver of inflation in this state. So things like expanding Medicaid that bring $10 billion back of our federal income taxes, that will reduce the burden on the local property taxpayer, upping the share of state spending for public ed, means that we pay teachers more and also reduce property taxes for homeowners. And then doing common sense things like raising the minimum wage, which is now $7.25 in Texas, to something more livable like $15 an hour, investing in childcare, in universal pre-K. These are things that are not just great for families and for our fellow Texans. They will supercharge this economy and allow more people to live to their full potential and make sure that this state realizes its promise. There's so much more that we can do, but again, we're gonna need change after eight years of Greg Abbott to make this happen.